Okay, we finally have another product from Wish. Uh, as you guys already know, it takes a while to get anything from these guys. Um, this one is a bit of a, not necessarily a special one, but they call it the anniversary edition. But we all know what this is. It's yet another um, little game unit that is pretty much using ROMs. And this, this case, I'm guessing they're focusing specifically on Nintendo ROMs. So it's made to look like a Nintendo a SNES or NES uh, console um, and sort of kind of give you those vibes. So let's see if we can get those classic game vibes from this little guy. But also while I'm um, unboxing this for you, I'm also gonna be answering some of the questions I received uh, over the last month or more uh, from the Wish video and, uh, and a few other videos, but mostly the Wish video because you guys literally blew that damn thing up over the holidays. So. By the way, thank you for that. But still, Jesus Christ, you guys, guys asked a lot of questions. So we're, let's go ahead and get to that. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's open this box here. The subject came up again of, um, of shipping on Wish. So uh, for this particular item, um, it wasn't too bad. I'm going to put the, the cost of shipping up on the screen. Holy moly, this is small. Well, they didn't make it too hard to tell the difference, I tell you what. It didn't make it too hard at all. I mean, it, it literally fits in the palm of my hand. You can, you know, depending on your jeans, you can actually push this in your pocket or something, like those old school jeans that was like incredibly baggy and people thought it was so cool. Um, yeah, if you have a reset, power button, push with authority because they actually stay suppressed when you push them, except for the reset button, and a power light. And your controllers, and they give you two controllers. So at least they give you two controllers and all this stuff. Okay, so anyways, like I was saying, the cost of um, shipping is also obviously something that is still, I'm not going to call it an issue, but something that really needs to be noted when you're buying things on Wish. Um, the cost of shipping can vary greatly. And I'm sorry if my voice is coming in a little bit higher than um, in my intro because I am literally tilted downwards. My head is tilted downwards talking, so my mic is picking it up a little bit more. And they gave me a whole list of console games. Okay. Well, you, you definitely can't read all of that, but if you wanna try, here you go. Good luck. Um, we're gonna see, get, see that a little bit closer later. Um, but yeah, so the, the shipping wasn't too bad for this, and I have noticed that Wish has started to uh, do express items now. Um, to try to make things a little easier when it comes to shipping so you won't have to wait possibly three weeks <laughs> four weeks six weeks for your items to come uh, so there's that however i have noticed that um, things are quite limited in the express shipping there wasn't too many things in Ex express that i actually wanted and they were a little bit higher too uh, to actually purchase than uh, normal prices for wish items so that's something to be uh to be considered on what I have just unpacked here, um, hmm. So they gave me a. Is this supposed to be a manual? I guess you really don't need much of a manual when it comes to something like this. It's pretty basic. So, and the manual says as built in 500 classic games total, which cannot be changed, uses your normal 5 volt charger and AV cable output or cable support. So old school um, video support, no HDMI or any of that here. They actually sent it with a Euro uh, plug as well, which I, I don't have here in this video, but it was like dangling outside the box in the package itself, in the box itself, uh, not inside the actual uh, package that all this came in. So that's, that's a little weird and I didn't really need that, but thank you, I guess. So we have it all unboxed. So I'm gonna answer a few more questions and then we're gonna hook this up and see how it looks on my actual TV screen. Another question came up on payments. Now this we really need to get into because uh, I've heard some things over the last uh, couple months about Wish and its payment system. And that is, it's not been that great. Um, from what, now for my personal experience, I use PayPal when it comes to Wish. I don't actually put my bare credit card in there. I, I just don't. Uh, when it comes to uh, anything that's China related, I 
just kind of play it safe. Now, I am definitely telling you, I used to say that, okay, Wish does support various payment systems, and it might be okay to go ahead and, and uh, use your credit card, debit card, whatever, on Wish, and you will be fine. Now, I'm saying, no, that's actually not something you should be doing. Uh, I've had two people so far tell me that their accounts were hacked or something like that after they actually purchased an item on Wish. So I don't know what their experience was or how that happened or what it, the details don't matter. As if any just one person has an issue when it comes to a payment on any kind of service, especially if it's something that I have reviewed, even if I didn't have a problem myself, that means that I can no longer actually tell you that it's okay to go ahead and put your bare credit card in there. Please use PayPal or some other payment service in order to, and when you're actually shopping on Wish, because, you know, I, like I said, you just need to play it safe. Yes, your credit card can get hacked using any service, but that is, that's not really an excuse, especially in 2018. So it's because there was um, some problems that people have messaged me about. I'm now going to definitely tell you, use PayPal, use some other payment service. Don't actually put your actual bare credit card into the application because there's no telling if you'll actually be safe or not or if your card is going to get hacked. I have no idea unless somebody from Wish wants to reach out to me about that, which I'm pretty sure they won't. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. So, yeah, I'm very sorry for whoever that was. Uh, I'm probably, if I find their message, I'll put it up on the screen um, who was, was telling me about that. But I also have heard from people, from one person that was actually close uh, working with me um, in my actual daily life that's told me they've had a problem with uh, when it comes to payments on Wish as well. So, yeah, <laughs> you, we're going to uh, go ahead and leave it at that. Be safe and use PayPal when working on this app because there has been some incidents that I've actually heard of myself. The next question um, I got, or not really a question, it was more of a ton of people telling me about how you no, know, they bought things and they weren't as they weren't as they thought they were gonna be. They were probably expecting higher quality or whatever the case is. Some people have even told me, well, I've, I see um, items on there that seem to be like they're trying to mimic other brands or just clones or copies or what have you, and you know they they feel some kind of way about that. Allow me to remind you, this is not an app where you're going to be buying premium things from. There will be some items on there from actual reputable brands that you've heard of before, especially here in the States. I don't know about over in China what your reputable brands are, but um, here in the States, you know, you have LG, Sony, Samsung, and all those other kind of things where I'm strictly talking about tech-related kind of stuff because that's what I know. You're not really going to see a ton of those things on there. You're going to see all kinds of off brands. You're going to see clones. You're going to see copies of this. You're going to see all kinds of um, brand names that you're not familiar with. What you're looking for is function. What you're looking for is things that pretty much just meet the bare minimum for, for what you need out of that out of that particular item. So if you're looking for a drone, you're probably not going to find a DJI. A DJI. I, DGI. DJI, I have seen it on there before, but yeah, that was it's a very rare thing. Most of the time, you're going to see some off-brand, some little toy or something like that, and that might be just good enough for what you need to get a little fun out of it and you know, just do your thing without blowing your budget. That's pretty much the basis for most of these items. You will find premium things down there from time to time. Like you saw in my previous videos, I had my LG Tones with me until they broke. <laughs> but I love those things to death. But you can find those sometimes, but it's definitely not the norm. Please don't use this app to see if you to try and find like the top name brand item, especially if you're looking for something that's usually $200 for like 20 bucks. Come on, dude. It, no. Not really an actual question at all as well. Again, uh, again, it's just someone just trying to tell me they've seen some new things pop up on the app. It looks a little bit different now. Definitely need to go over the layout for the Wish app because there has been some changes, some pretty nice things that they're trying to add. One of them, like I stated before, was the Express uh, page that's been added to the Wish app just so for people, once again, who want to buy things and get them fast. I have stated already that even though it's nice that they added an Express page, uh, the selection is not that vast on items you can actually get quickly. So just keep that in mind. One more thing I have noticed is that they have an outlet page. I, I don't know if I got that name right, but pretty much that is actually a page for mostly what I've seen, refurbished items 
from actual brands that you're that you're familiar with. So now you can actually can find name brand items on Wish. But like I said, the most of the things I found were refurbished. Refurbished is not a bad thing. Half of my equipment that I use in my in my daily videos and stuff like that is probably refurbished because you know that's just how I save money. I'm pretty sure there is going to be some brand new things in there. And of course, you can expect the prices to be higher for those particular items. So just be aware of that. But it seems they're making some quite some nice changes over there, but in time and maybe in a future video somewhere, we will go over again the new things and changes on the Wish app. Now, let me go ahead and switch over and show you guys how this Nintendo console, Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo console, that, that's funny, how this game <laughs> actually looks on the TV. Probably going to be pretty terrible. Whatever, let's get into it. <laughs> Ignore the flickering on the screen. That's actually my camera. You're not going to see that in, um, in real life. Um, this is very much, pretty much the same kind of thing um, that I had when I, when I, if you guys remember the portable game that I bought off of Wish that had, you know, millions or whatever of games on there. This is pretty much that, but in a, in a, in a bit of a different format where it's hooked up to my TV instead of being in my hands. And to be absolutely honest, I kind of prefer it in my hands than I do. Um, than I do like this, to be honest. Uh, now, it's gonna look a little funky on on this uh, trying to shoot it through the camera because I'm literally just pointing the camera at at my TV. I don't have a, a way of recording things, recording the, my TV input right now. So um, yeah. This is one of the better ones. This is a uh, Power Rangers, and don't ask me how I became the Yellow Ranger because I don't even know uh, where the selection for that is. Um, I probably passed it and I didn't even know it. So it's it, uh, and this is also the game that has a uh, where the controls is a little bit more responsive because I, I noticed on other games the controls weren't that great at all, and um, yeah, there's that, but. Honestly, uh, as far as the fact that this actually didn't cost me, uh, what, I think it cost me $20, $25, which is probably the worth of literally all 500 of these games combined. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not too bad. It's just I, um, I prefer this at a more of a portable manner. I don't really want to have this kind of experience um, on a TV. So if you see this, ah. Jesus. And also, uh, you guys don't know, my, my, my fiance was laughing at me as I was playing, um, trying to play these, these games and doing very terribly at it. Uh, these, these old school games are hard, y'all. These games are hard. Okay. Like, you know, I, I, the modern games are easier. This, this right here. And if you die in this, you go all the way back to the beginning. What kind of crap is that? <laughs> Where's my save points? These guys are, were not playing around back then. Like this, this is crazy. But um, it, it, I, I will admit that it is fun. It's just I, I don't know if I want this on a TV. I think I'll, I'll have more fun with these games um, at, in the portable factor, which I still do have, by the way. So I'll, I'll show, that guy, show that to you guys uh, here in just a second when I get back to when I'm through dying here. But you guys get the gist of it. Now, if you want to get to another game, you pretty much just hit the reset button on the console and it takes you back to the screen where you can select from you know hundreds and hundreds of other games uh, some games are better than others of course uh, the controls will be wonky on some and if you also notice that last game was in an entirely different language it was in uh, Japanese or, or whatever it is Korean what it was in an Asian China Chinese language um, there's that's not all of them there are there are many games on here that are also english games so you don't have to worry about that but just note that that is a thing that's that that's on here uh so what can i say about this uh let's let's switch back over and just end this video here um this product is really really for people who truly love like retro gaming if that's your thing then this console is definitely for you. If you're trying to punish your kids that you already bought the PS2 and Xbox One for, and you know you're like for whatever reason you're really a cruel person, so you're gonna you know if they do bad, pull out all that crap, all the fancy stuff, and put this console in there. Let that be the only thing they can play on their 1080p screens. This is for you. <laughs> um, but other than that, 
Um, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I prefer the mo for the mobile experience. So I will link that video both down below and in the cards so that you can go and check out that video. And uh, it's about the same price, I think, for that anyways, for the, the PSP, which is not really, um, it doesn't mean PlayStation. It, it's not the Sony thing, but it is just a portable version of the exact same thing you get over there on the on the TV screen, which is a bunch of ROMs and a, and a portable handheld that you can walk around and play your games. I think that is more fun for this kind of experience. Um, but other than that, it is a proper retro gaming experience. It doesn't look great um, stretch, stretched out across uh, uh, my, 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 my TV screen. Thank you to whomever with the freaking car. I forgot what I was saying now. And the thing I was talking about, that video resolution stretched out across the screen is not great. I think I would have liked this better if they actually would have boxed that in to a set size where everything looked you no know, much better instead of stretched out like that. Because a lot of the games didn't look good when and when it stretched out across the screen. Putting it in a box, which is what I was expecting anyways for a retro game, probably would have been better and would have looked better as well. Uh, but that is about it. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And yes, there will be more videos upcoming because I actually noticed that Witches, Wish is starting to sell or sellers on Wish are starting to sell video cards. Not name brand ones, but I'm very curious if they work or not. So I think that's going to be my next thing is to actually start buying some computer parts, throwing them into the rig over there and see if they actually work. So that's going to be a thing among other stuff that's coming up as well. So um, I will see you guys in the next video. You have a good one. Bye.